Hi folks, my name's Luke Finn and I help dads avoid unnecessary divorce and reignite the relationship with their wives. So today I'm going to be covering how to avoid the number one mistake men make when they're trying to reconcile with their wife. Now make sure to stick around to the end of this video to get that opportunity to enroll in my free masterclass. In the masterclass you're going to get the chance to diagnose your marriage and see if there's a chance of actually reconciling with your wife and you'll also learn the number one reason why your wife has checked out. So with that being said, let's dive right in. So as we get started here today guys, I first want to honor you for investing this time into improving your relationship because I know at the moment you're going through an emotional roller coaster. You're having a really tough time, you're having these ups and downs and I just want to let you know that you're in the right place. We're going to get this handled and with this video you're going to gain so many insights into what's happened into your marriage and how you can start to make steady progress with your wife. So this is what happens when most men hear from their wife, I'm in love with you but I'm not in love with you anymore or I'm done, I can't do this anymore. This is what men, most men do. They'll start begging and getting needy and panicking and saying please take me back, I can change. And usually this panic lasts maybe a day or two and then what happens is you start to think, okay, I'm gonna come up with a plan. So I'm gonna come up with a plan to win her back. So what you're going to do is you're gonna show her that you've really changed. So how do you show her that you're really changed? You give her some space and you start doing more around the house. You start looking after the kids, cleaning up and maybe even listening to her more. And after a couple of days, is you start to notice she starts to thaw and you're like awesome the changes that I'm making are having an impact it's having like it's making a difference because you start to see that she starts to relax she's not so uptight maybe she's talking to you a little bit more maybe her face isn't so you're not seeing the anger on her face anymore and she's being more friendly with you and this is when guys this is when you make the number one mistake you've done all this cleaning around the house, looking after the kids, your wife started to relax a little bit and then you go ahead and you say to her, so when are we going to talk about the relationship? Or what, what are we doing? You know, what can we change? Or when are we gonna talk about us? And guys, that's horrendous because your wife says to you, I already told you, we're done. It's over. And you feel lost, confused. Because you've tried everything, right? You've spent days or maybe even weeks of giving her space, of cleaning around the house, and now she's telling you the exact same thing. You feel lost, confused, and you're frustrated because everything you've tried hasn't worked and you don't know what else to try. And the thing is, guys, this is the insight that I wanna give you today, is doing household chores and looking after the kids and giving her a little bit of space. That's not real change. And your wife, your wife wants real change. Maybe she even said this to you. I want you to really change. She wants real long-term change in the relationship. And now you're going to ask me, Luke, so what does real transformation or real change actually look like? Because it's kind of abstract, right? Well, I got you guys covered here. Real change is a process of eradicating behaviors that have caused your marriage to deteriorate into the state that it's in today. It's about getting rid of these behaviors that have caused problems in your marriage. And I've identified four behaviors that lead to a marriage going into this downward spiral and to a wife saying inevitably, you know what, I'm done, I can't do this anymore, or I'm not in love with you anymore. So let's go right into those four behaviors. And what I call them, the behaviors, I call them personas. And there are four havoc wreaking personas that cause problems in marriages. Now the first one is, and I want you guys to take a little bit of time and reflect on this. And if this resonates with you, what I want you to do is post them down in the comments, the behavior or the persona that you've been experiencing in your marriage. Because guys, only by taking ownership in our marriage, in our life, can we actually make change. So take ownership and when you hear these, these different personas and it resonates, you're like, that was me. I want you to post them down in the comments because I'm not going to lie to you as well. I'm not perfect. Uh, I've also had some of these personas in my life and I want you to just 
to go through it and be openly like honest with yourself. So the first persona that turns up and cause or can turn up and cause havoc uh, in your marriage is angry Adam. Now, how do you know if angry Adam, if you're being angry Adam, it's usually you're coming home from work, you're getting like pissed off, you like the, the house isn't clean or the kids are making too much noise and you're just getting angry and you're losing it. You're blowing up. And this is really, really not good for the relationship because your wife starts to feel unsafe um, she doesn't want to doesn't know how to connect with you and this creates distance So the first havoc wreaking persona in a marriage is angry Adam. So have you been experiencing this? The second havoc wreaking persona is jealous Johnny So jealous Johnny is always wondering what his wife doing maybe sending messages She's going out with her friends for to the bar going out to the restaurant and jealous Johnny is like hey What are you doing? When are you coming back home? Lots of text messages lots of trying to find out where she is, starts having crazy thoughts, like maybe she's having an affair with somebody else, who is she chatting, who's she chatting on, or who's she chatting with on Facebook, who's she chatting with on her phone, you're getting really jealous, and this is really, really bad for the relationship. So the second havoc wreaking persona is jealous Johnny. The third one is emotionally unavailable Eric. So Eric is just not there for his wife. So she comes, maybe she's lost a relative, she loses her mum or dad, pass, they pass away, or she has a really difficult situation, maybe she's just having troubles with the kids, and you're coming home from work, and you're just like, you're detached. You're like, maybe even start to play it down. It's not that bad, sweetheart. No, it's okay, it's, you know. And she doesn't feel like she's understood. And this is also causes a lot of distance in the relationship. And the final havoc wreaking persona is controlling Connor. Are you trying to control your wife? Are you trying to control who she sees, what she does? Are you manipulating her? Are you controlling the finances to make sure that she has to stay with you? So these are the four havoc wreaking personas. Reflect guys on which one of these, or maybe you have more of them. I've got clients that come into my program that are experiencing three of these personas. It's not uncommon. So take a moment to reflect on which of these personas have been showing up in your marriage. And basically what's happening over time, guys, is these personas slowly but surely erode emotional safety and trust in the relationship. And emotional safety is what allows you to connect with your wife and to be able to solve problems together. And all these personas just completely eradicate that. So what you need to do, guys, to show your wife to really change is you need to release these behaviors. And what happens is when you release these behaviors, these four havoc wreaking uh, personas from your life, your wife is naturally attracted back to you because you've literally transformed. You're no longer this person that you used to be. You don't require, there's other people out there that will tell you it's all about your mindset, but that's not true guys. It's about mindset is an important part. So there is a part, so mindset does play a part in, so creating a better marriage. But releasing these behaviors is the number one priority if you want to create real transformation and attract your wife back into your marriage. Now, I've literally spent years developing a system to create a holistic approach for real change in a marriage. And that system is called the ARC system. And the ARC system, ARC is an acronym. A stands for awareness. So we're working a little bit on awareness today. You've now understood like the number one mistake that men make when they're trying to reconcile with their wife. When you have awareness, you start to see a clear picture. You start to see what's really going on. You start to understand the root problem so you can start to make progress. Awareness is key in reconciling with your wife and awareness is key in life. You need to understand what's going on in order to make so long-term so fixes and solutions uh, in your life. After we work on awareness, the second part is release. We release those four havoc wreaking behaviors so that they don't show up anymore. I have the most holistic approach to releasing these behaviors so that they don't show up. So it's not like using your mind to try and think, okay, I now need to stay calm in this, you know, when my wife's getting angry uh, and you're starting to get angry. I have a holistic approach to eradicate those emotions. So when your wife tests you, that you can pass with flying colors. Because guys, your wife is gonna test you when this reconciliation begins. Your wife is going to test you and you need to pass those tests with flying colors so she sees that you really have changed. 
And the final so element in this system is C for cultivate. You get to cultivate a new skill set. You get to learn how to speak with your wife uh, when she's got a problem. You can um, talk with her and take that heat off uh, those discussions that are, are challenging. You get to navigate conflict. You get to effortlessly navigate conflict. You get to also learn how to speak from your heart. So when you've got something on your chest, you can speak to your wife without her feeling blamed or shamed. So that's the ARC system that I've spent years developing so men can reconcile with their wives. Now, as I promised, uh, you were gonna get the, I promised you you're gonna get the opportunity to enroll in my free masterclass. In this masterclass, you're gonna to get to diagnose your marriage and learn if it's possible to reconcile. You're also gonna see the number one reason why your wife has checked out of the marriage. And you're already gonna to get to start to apply the ARC system, which I just talked about, to begin the reconciliation process. Now, if you wanna enroll in the free masterclass, all you gotta do is check down in the description below. I posted a link. You can click on that link and register for the free masterclass. Now, finally, if you haven't already done so, I also wanna invite you to my marriage support group for dads. This is a wonderful com community filled with guys just like you who are going through the same struggles and who are applying the ARC system to make steady progress with reconciling with their wives. Congratulations on making it to the end of this video. If you've got any questions at all, just post them down below in the comment section. And if you found the video useful, do me a favor and smash that like button. And if you want to stay up to date with all my new videos, just make sure to subscribe to my channel. I look forward to seeing you on the next video.